Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello and welcome. And in today's video, I'm going to share with you a modern farmhouse blanket ladder that's super simple, super easy, and budget friendly. If you don't already have one in your home, I hope that this video can spark some inspiration for you to create one for your home. Make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. I'd appreciate it if you left a comment and I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. So let's get started on this blanket ladder. I went over to Lowe's and I picked up some lumber. It was a one by three and I had them cut it for me. I had them cut it down to two four foot pieces and five 12 inch pieces. And the great thing about it is that portion is already done and it cost only $10. Using my Verithane wood stain in the color Kona. It's the same color that I used when I refreshed my kitchen dining table. I love the color. So I, so, since I've already got this color in my home, I thought I'd cross pollinate my decor by adding it to the blanket ladder. This video is in conjunction with a challenge and this challenge is called Fall DIY and Decor Challenge. It is a seasonal challenge that's being hosted by Christina of the DIY Mommy. I will leave a link to Christina's channel as usual below in the description box and I will also leave a link to the playlist of all the other content creators participating today. I uh, purchased this lumber and it came this color but I knew that I wanted to restain it because it wasn't as rich a color uh, as I wanted. It was a little too rustic for me. I knew I wanted to make it just a little darker because I like that um, deeper espresso type color. And also I knew I wanted to, to um, touch it up as well is because when he cut the wood the uh, the ends of it became you know the natural wood the natural color of the wood came out so seeing how there was already some stain some color on the wood when I purchased it I mean I, I'm pretty certain I won't do more than one coat the inspiration for this project came from the fact that because the weather is starting to get cooler again so I know that we'll be using the blankets quite a bit and I wanted some place to keep them other than just always on my chair. I tend to keep my, my blankets just uh, folded up on the chair, you know, thrown over the sofa. And sometimes I'd like to move them out of the way. So this year I will have access to them, but they will have a place. They will have a designated space other than the chair, other than the sofa. And I like that idea. They had already stained the wood for me, um, but I decided I wanted it a little darker. I wanted to, to cross pollinate the decor in my home. And since this matches the table, uh, my dining room table, I thought that I would use this, but you could just leave it, um, you could just leave it the color that it was. They also had it in just, you know, the natural wood color as well. And they had it in gray. They had one that was stained um, a little gray. Even though gray is the dominant color in my home, I didn't want it gray. And I would imagine you can use, you know, you can use a paintbrush, but I just grabbed a rag because that's really, the reason I grabbed the rag is because I thought it would be the easiest and the quickest, uh, and for me, it has been. But I would imagine that a, a roller or a paintbrush would be just as nice. And if I didn't already have color on here, I probably would have used a paintbrush. I enjoyed making this project so much that I am going to make a second one for uh, my bedroom. I'm always cold and I always have a blanket around and what better way to um, have a blanket and have it fit in with the decor but give it its designated space. So um, I believe, I'm 100% certain I will be making a second one of these. And I hope that you all give it a try as well. I believe that is it. I will let this dry for about three hours and then I'll come back and put it together. 
Okay guys, it's the next day and the wood stain has completely dried. And the items that I need to complete this project will be some rubber gloves. The rubber gloves are optional because like I said, I let it dry overnight so it is really dry but I still may use them. A pencil for marking, a measuring tape, decorative nail heads, some furniture protectors, some wood glue, and a drill. Oh yeah, and you'll also need a block of wood uh, to protect your surface when you're drilling nails. I will be putting a nail in each rung on the back side. And my glue gun, I will also be using this because I want to add a couple drops of hot glue on top of the wood glue so that it'll give me a quicker bond because as I said I have to flip it over I'm going to flip it over it adds some screws on the back for added support so again this is optional if you want to just use wood glue and clamps that's you know that's an idea but I did want to put uh, nail I uh, did want to put screws on the back I've decided that I want my slats to overlap across as opposed to being inside each piece I want them to overlap um I don't know I just like to look better and it's also easier to do and I also decided that I am going to use four what are these rungs slats um, cross wood beams I don't know what you call I don't know the correct term for this part of the ladder but I've decided to use four of them as opposed to five so I do have an extra one here um, again I said I'm going to I'm going to make a second one so um, this will not go to waste I think I'll use this on my second ladder one ladder will go in my family room and the other ladder will go in the master bedroom I decided I needed about six inches in between each piece of uh, in between each slat I measured my blankets and when they were folded up that's about what worked for me that works I like the way that looks now you also want to make sure the long one's going this way. You need to make sure that these are even. You don't want to start gluing and uh, nailing these together and the main structure piece is off. Otherwise you'll end up with a wonky ladder. And I almost did that. That's why it was just a, a reminder. Make sure these two pieces are even. I am going to put on gloves because I am messy when it comes to glue. Hey guys, let's connect on social media on Instagram and Pinterest at Creative Glam One. I'm going to leave additional photos to this video over there. Stop by and check me out and make sure you follow. The wood glue is dry and I have flipped it over. Now I'm going to add a screw in the back for just additional support.
For the sake of trying not to make this video too long, everything prior to this point is identical to the first ladder. Here I'm just adding wood glue and following that up with a little hot glue for extra hold. And then here my husband added the screws to the back just as we did in the first one. And we're pretty much done. And here I'm just adding the Velcro pads to the back to protect the wall. I had these nail heads left over from a different, from another project. And um, I'm going to put one in each corner just two, over here, 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 here. That's my intent. I'm hoping that they're strong enough to go into the wood and not mess up the wood. I'll be right back. I'm gonna take these nail heads outside and cut the nails down halfway so I don't have to go as far into the wood. That gives me more control and able to place the nail head exactly where I want it to be in each corner. I'll be right back. All right, so I've got the nail heads cut and I've got them placed where I want them to be. I think I like it. I like it. I don't know which one I like better. I like them both. I think the one with the nail heads will stay in the family room and the one without nail heads will go in my bedroom. I truly enjoyed doing this project. It was super easy and it was super fun and it only cost $10. If you like the way my modern farmhouse blanket ladder turned out, leave me a comment. I'd also appreciate if you gave me a thumbs up. I want to thank Christina of the DIY Mommy for the open invitation. As usual, I had lots of fun. And if you haven't by now, make sure you hit that subscribe button along with the notification bell. Hit it twice so that you don't miss out on any of my future videos. Also, at the end of this video, you'll see a couple video links. Click one to see more home decor by Creative Glam. And with that being said, have a blessed day and I'll see you right back here next time on Creative Glam. Bye.